Hi friends, welcome to Payhip. In this video, we will show you how quick and easy it is to start selling an online course using Payhip. There are a few steps to publishing your online course, so here's an overview of the general steps that you'll be taking. First, we'll show you how to upload your course content. Next, we'll customize your course settings and go over some optional settings as well. We'll then set your course pricing, create your course sales page, and finally, publish your course. Beyond that, we'll show you the end result or a preview of what your students' experience would potentially look like when they purchase your online course. And finally, some tips on promoting your course to get more sales. Feel free to skip ahead to specific chapters within this video to find what you're looking for. As a quick note, if you haven't watched our 3-minute quick start guide video, we encourage you to start there before watching this, as it provides a high-level overview of Payip and how to get your store set up such as setting your payout information. Now let's get started on uploading a new online course listing on your Payip store. Make sure you're already logged into your Payip seller account. If you don't have an account yet, sign up for free at payip.com. To add a new product, go to the product tab on the top menu bar. Next, click add new product. Select the course category. Input your online course title here. Don't worry about getting anything finalized the first time around as you'll be able to edit all of this information later on as well. Click add course to proceed. By default, you will land on the Curriculum tab where you can upload the content of your online course. You can start by adding sections, aka various chapters within the online course, as well as lessons within each of the sections for your course. Sections let you group multiple lessons together so that your students can easily navigate through your course. Within each section, you can upload multiple lessons with varying lesson types. We support multiple lesson types including video lessons, text-based lessons, quizzes, downloadable such as worksheets, printables, or any other downloadable files, surveys, assignments, and embeds such as YouTube, Wistia, SoundCloud, and many more. To make it a little easier to visualize, here's an example of an online course that we've created. Over here, you can see additional functionality such as duplicating your lessons, enabling discussions or comments within each lesson. This allows your students to leave public comments that are accessible by you as well as other students who have purchased your online course. You can also respond to these comments publicly as well. You can make some lessons a prerequisite for the subsequent lessons. You can also enable free preview for certain lessons. Free previews are great as it provides the prospective students a taste of what to expect if they purchase your full course and also convince them to make the purchase. Lastly, you can easily unpublish certain lessons if you need to. Now let's go over some course settings. Head to the settings menu tab and under basic settings, you can change the title of your online course upload an online course thumbnail, as well as input some other information such as your instructor details, profile picture, and more. You can also customize your student dashboard here as well. Under Customize Design, click the hyperlink. This is what your students will see when they have purchased your online course and signed in to their student dashboard. Click the gear button on the bottom right corner to customize your student dashboard, including the banner image, color palette, dashboard product list, or inject custom CSS codes if you'd like to. Now head back to your Manage Course Product page and go to the Settings tab again. And finally, click the Course Player Settings. From here, you'll be able to edit the colors and fonts used on your course player, as well as upload your own logo. Click the Preview button to see what your online course would potentially look like. There are several other optional settings that you can set up for your online course, including certificates of completion, drip content, and some other advanced settings. Certificates of Completion allows you to automatically send a PDF certificate of completion as soon as your students successfully complete your course. To enable Certificates of Completion, click on the Certificates menu tab on your Manage Course Product page. Next, click on the Add New Certificate button. You can customize the design and the content of your Certificate of Completion here. You will need to associate a specific online course with a specific certificate. Note that each course can only be associated with one certificate. The next optional settings that you can set up is the Drip content. Head back to your Manage Course Product page and click on the Drip menu tab. Drip content allows you to release specific lessons to your course students over time instead of all at once. This is great for keeping your students engaged and making sure that they continue to come back to your store. You'll see a number of options for setting up your Drip schedule including making certain course lessons available after specific days or on a specific date. Lastly. There are some advanced settings that you can apply to all of your online course products and not just the one that you're currently editing. You can find these under Account, Settings, and Advanced Settings. Scroll down to find the course settings and a few options that you can enable, including getting notified when your students post comments or submit assignments, and more. 
Now that you've got your course content and settings done, let's set up your course pricing. Head back to your Manage Course product page. Go to the Pricing tab and click Add Pricing Plan. Pay provides features for you to be able to provide various pricing options for your students. You can add as many pricing options as you like for every course that you publish. First, you can offer a straightforward one-time purchase. Next, you can also offer subscriptions. Pay will automatically charge you students on a recurring basis based on the amount and frequency that you have set up. Be sure to explore some settings within subscriptions, including enabling free trial, charging a different rate for the initial subscription fee, and more. Remember that your students can cancel their subscriptions from their student dashboard at any time if they want to. The next pricing option is payment plan, which is different from subscriptions because your students will not be able to cancel their payment plans once they purchase your course. You can set the amount and number of monthly payments or installments that your students need to pay. This is particularly helpful to allow more students to access your course if they need a little financial help to purchase it. Scroll down to the bottom to find extra settings such as enabling a free trial period. Lastly, you can also make your online course completely free if you want to. As mentioned earlier, you can offer one or more pricing plans at the same time. Here's an example of what it looks like to your potential students when we've set up various pricing options for the same online course. Now that you've set up your online course content, settings, and pricing, let's turn our attention to one of the most important elements of launching an online course, your sales page, also known as your landing page. This is what your prospective students will see in order to determine whether or not they'll want to purchase your course. It should contain your course description, benefits of joining your course, a preview of your course curriculum, and anything else that you think might convert your website visitors into paying students. To customize your sales page, head to your Manage Course Product page and click on the Pages menu tab. From here, you can customize your sales page, checkout page, and thank you page. Let's start with the sales page. Click the Edit button to start customizing your sales page. You'll be taken to the Store Builder where you can fully customize the page with many pre-built sections from Payhit. No coding skills needed. Here's an example of a fully furnished course sales page. Once you're done, head back to your Manage Course Product page and click on the Pages menu tab again. Now click on the View button on the checkout page. On the bottom right corner of the screen, you'll see a gear icon. Click this icon to customize the page with your logo and custom CSS if you'd like to. And finally, head back to your Manage Course Product page again and click on the Pages menu tab. Now click the Edit button on the Thank You page. The Thank You page is the page that your students are taken to after they have successfully purchased your online course. Once you've clicked the Edit button, you'll be taken to the Store Builder again where you can fully customize the page with many pre-built sections from Payhit. It's important to note that the first thing your students will want to do after they've purchased your online course is to log into their account. So the Thank You page must show a prominent login button. Now it's time to publish your course. Review all of the things you had just set up for your online course, including your course content, settings, pricing, and your course sales page. Once you're ready to publish your course, click on the Publish tab shown on the menu bar. You'll see a number of publishing options, including draft, pre-order, and published. Choose your preferred publishing state and publish your course. Once you've started to enroll your students, you can find them under the Students menu tab. If you click on the student details, you'll be able to see all of their information, including their online course progress, quizzes, and more. You can also unenroll your students here if you need to. If your students have left any comments on any of your lessons, you'll also be able to see them here under the Comments tab. From here, you can also click on it and respond to the comments. Congratulations, you've just published your online course. Now let's take a look at what your students would experience from start to finish when they purchase your online course. To start, this is the sales page or landing page that they'll see. Apart from the elements that you've added in earlier, by default, your course sales page comes with a curriculum section which lists all of the lessons that you've published for the course. They can also see a free preview badge if you've enabled free previews for any of your lessons. Your prospective students can click and access these lessons without paying. Once they've determined that they'd like to purchase your online course, they would select the pricing option that suits them. They'll then be taken to the checkout page where they can complete their payment. Once the student has paid, they'll be able to log into their student dashboard to access your online course. If the student has purchased multiple courses from you, the student dashboard page will contain all of the courses they have purchased and have access to. When students click into the course that they've purchased, they'll be presented with this course player where they can start going through the online course. Here's a quick look into what the learning experience would look like. If you've enabled comments or discussions for certain lessons, you'd also be able to see them here. If you've enabled certificates of completion, 
Once your student finished the course and clicked the Complete and Continue button for their final lesson, they can download their PDF certificate from the course player, as you can see here. Additionally, your students will also have access to their certificates from their student settings page. This page lists all of the certificates they have received. If you want to improve the design of your website or storefront, you can use PAVE's fully customizable store builder. You can create an entire website on PAVE for free in just a few minutes. This is particularly useful if you're selling more than just one course or are selling other products as well, including ebooks, printable PDFs, and more. To do this, go to the store tab and launch your store builder. Pay provides a lot of pre-built website sections that you can select from and customize accordingly. No technical skills needed. You can find more information on how to use Pay Store Builder on another video. But here's an example of a website creating using Pay without any technical coding skills or design skills. You'll also notice that you can connect a custom domain for free if you want to. This helps to make your website feel more like your own. Now that you've got your online course published, it's time for you to start driving traffic for your course to start getting sales. There are many ways to do this, but here are some ideas to get started. First, build a social media following. Build your credibility on social media. Show your prospective students that you're capable of helping them to achieve their desired transformations. Remind your students of specific problems or pain points that you're trying to solve through your online course, as well as the benefit and impact that your online course would bring to their lives. Next, you can also create a blog. Create valuable blog post content that targets relevant keywords associated with your online course niche. Over time, your website will get more backlinks and your website and or blog post will start ranking on Google, which leads to more website traffic and leads. You can also try building an email list. Nurture your leads through a series of convincing emails to get them to purchase your online course. Some other marketing ideas include creating a private group on Facebook to build a community, starting a podcast, hosting live webinars, or launching an affiliate program where you can reward affiliate partners with commission when they've successfully brought you sales for your online course. The affiliate program tool is part of PAVE's free marketing tool. Remember to also take advantage of the rest of PAVE's free marketing tools to market your products. Go to the marketing tab to find all of our marketing tools. Each tool comes with information on how you can maximize their benefits. That's it. You have successfully published your online course using Payhip. Visit help.payhip.com for more helpful tips on how to utilize various features on Payhip. Or reach out to contact at if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.